Hi, welcome to Young at Art. As you can see, we're not in my studio. I'm actually in New York City, and this is the perfect place to be to talk about sketchbooks. Sketchbooks are the perfect thing to take around with you so you can draw, paint, collage, anywhere you want. This is your average standard sort of sketchbook. Then you have smaller sketchbooks. They even make sketchbooks that can fit into your pockets, as well as fancy sketchbooks that are accordion like this. We have our sketchbook and now we want to go out and draw. All you need is a few simple tools. A pencil or one of my favorite things is a pen. It doesn't have to be a fancy pen. It can be a very simple basic ballpoint pen. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't always keep a sketchbook. I used to draw on sheets of paper just like this. And these were fine, but they were all over the place. One of the best things about a sketchbook is you can organize and keep all your drawings together. This is also a great place to experiment with different materials, and you can go back and see how well you've done with them. It's important as an artist to draw as often as possible. You want to create a relationship between your hands and your eyes, because they really are working together. And drawing is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it's going to get. I brought with me some sketchbooks that I've done that I'd like to share with you. Here's a sketchbook drawing out on location. I was probably at an airport or a train station. I was sitting there with my sketchbook. I saw someone across the way and I started drawing them. Here's another drawing that I started. The person may have moved. That happens also, which is all part of drawing on location. This. I didn't have to worry about the person moving. It was a statue in a museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And this is a drawing I did there. And note the date also. So back in 2015, in May, this is what I was doing. Here's an African sculpture. And I also like to collage in my sketchbook. Collage is when you take existing artwork, a photograph, or maybe a painting or drawing by someone, you cut it up, or you tear it, you reconstruct it and make a new piece of artwork. I love collaging, it's one of my favorite mediums to work in. We have other collages. Look at this dog that I dressed up. Isn't it funny? And look, he has an apple in his hand. Some of these are unfinished, but these are just fun things to do. And here are more people. Actually, I can tell you exactly where this is. This is Grand Central Station here in New York City. And I was waiting for my train, and so were these people. And I have a police officer there, a man looking at a cell phone, some other people who are waiting a long time. You can tell by the fact that they have their backpacks next to them, and they're getting really comfortable by sitting right on the floor in the train station. This is May 13th, Penn Station. It's not a bad idea to date and say where the location is of your drawing. That way you can look back and remember, especially if you take a sketchbook on vacation with you. This is the title page for The Bell Rang. And I like to show you the sketches that I did to come up with this idea. As you can see, I did a number of sketches. I also did sketches from different viewpoints because I wasn't sure which one would work best. And if we turn the page, You'll see other ideas I had. I knew this is the one I wanted to go with. So you can see that it's very similar to what we have in the finished book. Remember, it took all these other drawings to get me there. I had no idea what I wanted to do at first. So to try all these different angles, what's great is I get to go back and see all the things I attempted because they're all in my sketchbook. Here's a picture of the family. And every day they start off the father gathering wood, the mother cooking the food, and the children getting up and preparing to go out. So here are some of the sketches for this idea. I'm getting clearer and clearer ideas with each sketch on what should be happening in the illustration. And once I get something down that I think is really wonderful, I say, this is the direction I should go in. And then on this very last page here, I like to show you the sketches I did for this garden scene. First, I had the mother standing the girl down. Then I had them working together side by side, 
we're down like ants looking up at them. It really stretches your artwork out, giving you variety, not always doing things from the same perspective. Sometimes it's fun to be looking down on someone, and sometimes it's really fun to look up on someone like you are a small, small little bug. Finally, I get something that I think is interesting, and that's this drawing here. I go, that's kind of what I want. So this is what the final piece looked like in the book. Now, when I was very young, I thought that an artist just went into a room and painted a picture and it was done. As you can see, it's not really done that way. It takes a lot of sketching. And this is how you build up your ideas and make your ideas stronger by these quick little doodles. They're actually called thumbnail sketches because they should be about the size of your thumb. As you can see, my drawings are a lot larger than that. Probably about the size of a giant's thumb. So I brought some of the original artwork with me today to share with you. This is the page we just saw with the mother and daughter in the garden. And here's the family without the brother. He's run off. So you can see that they are sad. So here's the title page. Remember that sketch I showed you with the tree just dominating and taking over the page? Well, here it is. Remember all those sketches I had to do to get to this point? And these are the end papers. These are some of my favorite pieces. I got to paint birds. A single bird, and here's a group of birds flying past the bell that rings every morning. There are two parts to art. There's the craft part, that means how well you can draw or paint, which many of you are working on, and you're gonna get better the more you draw, the more you flex that muscle, that drawing muscle, right? But there's also another part, that's ideas. Ideas are the next stage. And how do you get good ideas? By sketching in your sketchbook, trying different viewpoints, doing lots of thumbnail sketches. They can be small or they can be large. And the best place to work that drawing muscle is in a book like this called a sketchbook. Happy sketching. We'll see you next time on Young at Art.